Hey guys, I hope you all are doing good. So today we are here at National Archive and Library of Canada, and we are here for a specific panel discussion that is happening, and it is under Ottawa Architecture Week. So they have an entire week dedicated for architecture, and they showcase different kinds of designs. They showcase different architects. They have panel discussion based on different topics. and these are the things open for public so this is a really great opportunity for normal public to relate with architects to meet up with architects and to know about world of architecture so without any delays guys let's go inside and have a look what's happening So today we have someone really special with us. Uh, he is the principal architect of CSB Group, and uh, which is one of the most uh, renowned firm here in Ottawa. And sir, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, I just want to ask you a few questions. I forgot about this. He is also the treasurer of uh, ORSA, that is Ottawa Regional Society of Architects. And uh, so my first question is this. What does ORSA stands for? Uh, Ottawa Regional Society of Architects. It's a it's a society of the uh, Ontario Association of Architects, so the, the provincial body, and they have given um, mandates to kind of the local societies uh, in this in the different areas of Ontario to kind of promote architecture, and uh, and they give us support in doing that. Um, ORSA. Actually, is older than the Ontario Association of Architects, uh, so we're not only kind of the oldest society, but um, yeah, we've been around uh, for as long as the provincial body. So, wow! Yeah, it's it's uh, there's a lot of strong history. I haven't been involved since the beginning, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's but uh, that's amazing. Yeah, I had no clue. It was clue. surprising when I found out about that too. Yeah. Wow! Yeah. So, uh, so my next question is like, as a young architect who is trying to get into the. Uh, the architecture channel of ontario and canada i am still in my registration process and like um, i have applied for my cacb and everything so uh, for all the international architects the major confusion that we have is what we should focus on should we focus on software should we focus on bylaws uh, how we can increase our potential of getting hired by firms like yours I would say um, the, the, there's a positive and a negative to my answer, but it's, I, I think you should take it as positively. Experience is really what um, is golden, right? So the more different experiences that you can get, so if you can get uh, experience in software, if you can get experience making a, a you know a, a profile for yourself, you know, volunteering for organizations. Hmm. At, Not just trying to get people to come out and help Orsa, but volunteering for organizations like Orsa or other industry-related organizations and get some exposure and experience doing different things. That's the kind of thing that I think everybody, um, you know, as, as an employer, looking for people that have uh, an interesting perspective and and bring some some thought to uh, to some different um, uh, you know, different uh, situations that may come up in architecture. I mean. Architecture is a is a people business first. It's yes. a very collaborative environment between you know the beginnings of design all the way through to the end of construction. The amount of people that it takes to put together a building is is countless. You know, I kind of I always joke with the interns that I mentor. Uh, you know, architecture is a people business. The buildings are the side effect, right? Like it is really about. Coming together and working with different types of people all all along the way. So learn how to learn how to deal with different types of people. Yeah. Learn how to just get different experiences. I think that would be my advice. Yeah. Wow. Uh, if like if I'm getting it right, yeah. so basically not only your portfolio or your resume matters. How socially involved you are, or how socially uh, active you are, or how many initiative that you take. Also matters a lot for you, right? I think so. When, when we evaluate, if, if someone's coming in and they have, they haven't had the opportunity to write out of school, and they haven't had the opportunity to, um, you know, have work experience. Mm -hmm. You know, the next thing we look at is, well, what, what else? Uh, what other experiences have they had? Have they, um, did they do uh, a, a semester abroad? Did they, did they work? You know, did they learn about different cultures. Did they yeah. Different things? It, that's the next thing, right? If we are hiring for a, a very junior level, like right out of school, those are the next things we're going to do. Wow. Yeah. 
Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. It That's was great. pleasure talking to you. Absolutely. Thank you for this Thanks opportunity. For coming at our yes, week. and I hope yeah. I hope all of you are listening to this, and uh, you guys volunteer, you guys yeah. come over here and like show the initiative so that probably you can get hired. <laughs> I'm just pointing it out. So yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you That's so great. much. Thank you. So this is the second day of Ottawa Architecture Week, and this is the final of this this day. And today we have someone who is representing Ottawa Architecture Week, and we will ask what is it about, how it started, and uh, what is the purpose of this entire journey or entire Ottawa Architecture Week. So, uh, Ottawa Architecture Week is organized uh, by OSA. It's the Ottawa Regional Society of Architects, which is totally non-profit, volunteer-driven, uh, supported by Ontario Association of Architects. So our main goal is to promote architecture among common people hmm. and bring people together from different walks of life and show people what a good architecture or architectural thoughts can do. So we plan this uh, event, it's a week uh, and usually it's a week, uh, almost every time it's like the week before the World Architecture Day. World Architecture Day happens the first Monday of October. Okay. So every year the days change, but the week is fixed. So the week before the World Architecture Day is our Architecture Week. Wow. So okay. During the Architecture Week, uh, we have many different activities throughout the week, and we plan it out uh, from the whole year. So every year has a theme. Hmm. This year's theme is uh, fun in the city. Okay. Uh, because we thought, like last couple of years, people were bogged down with pandemic and a lot of things that drawn people inside. So yeah. we thought how to bring people outside, make it fun, creative. And we thought Ottawa is a city which is not very known for very playful activities. So how to make it more yeah. engaging, vibrant, colorful. And yeah. it's a perfect way to uh, also bring people out of their home. Mm -hmm. And so all our events throughout the week, today is the second day as you mentioned so all of the uh, activities events teams and are aligned on this team okay so today we had a panel discussion yesterday there was a lecture uh, tomorrow we're gonna have a movie night day after we have a vernissage uh, centered around this theme and friday we'll have a picture wow okay and one more thing uh please introduce yourself so that I can, uh, yeah, I can tell everyone like how do I know you? <laughs> uh, so I am Kunal Rakshit. I work at HDR as an intern architect, and I volunteer for OSA OAW. I'm in the OAW committee as an event planner, and I work with Saranj. Yes, so he's my colleague, and I wasn't able to volunteer to this specific event. So but next year, uh, I'm looking forward to you. Yes, for sure, I will be here, and I was actually. Uh, willing and I wanted to be the part of yeah, this yeah. year as well but because of too many changes and joining HDR which yeah. is a really good company but it had a lot of process going follow on. Follow HDR, follow Orsa, follow AW Fest, he's gonna tell about it more. Yes and uh, thank you so much Kunal, thank you so much. Thank you. It was fun coming here and tomorrow we will be going for the movie night and let's see how it goes. In So everyone watching this video yes. and podcast yes. I would request if you guys are here in Ottawa, Toronto you, if you are in Toronto come here in Ottawa yeah. and uh, you have to join yeah. this this is a really great initiative Absolutely. and I, I feel I actually uh, will urge in my video to the viewers who are there in India, Sri Lanka, Pakistan, yeah. Yeah. Bangladesh I actually want to have something like this yeah. in our country as well. Fantastic. This is a really good way for people to express themselves, yeah. Yeah. people to see what, oh sorry, <laughs> people to see what architecture is. Absolutely. And, uh, and see how it integrates with um, exactly. the general public. Yeah. We, we and really want the public to uh, be engaged and also to have an opportunity to talk to Yep. The professionals. Yeah. Like, what is architecture? <laughs> yes. Why exactly. do you guys do this? You know? Because everyone, I think so, mm -hmm. like, they just, like, a common person yep. who doesn't know about too much about architecture, they just think that, oh, we are the people who just scribble a few lines and, right. like, you know, just, we are just artists. But it's, it's not so much that. more complicated. <laughs>
<laughs> I, I sometimes I sometimes wish we were just artists. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Well, good luck. I hope that yes. you'll participate. I wanted to I, this year. I wasn't able to participate that actively. Yeah, yep. but what I can do right now over here is, is like, this. You know, yeah, exactly. Get the word this out. is it. Yeah, That'd exactly. Like we can make it bigger, yes. like get it. more more people from architecture background 100%. involved. A lot of them don't even know this exists. Exactly. Exactly. So we I, really struggled with this part of it. Yeah, and I think this year mm -hmm. it's gotten a little bit better. Mm -hmm. But it could be I, huge. I am on camera, you know, and I first. and I and I promise you, next year <laughs> it will be bigger than this. Probably you will fall short of love this it. this I call. It. It's gonna it's gonna be a great yeah. event next year. Yeah, you might have to order more wine then. I think <laughs> I think we're just gonna have more stuff. Okay. All week long, yep. many weeks. Yep. We'll have a whole month. <laughs> so guys, this was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something out of it. And I hope you took down the note of one thing that architect Daryl Hood said. That architecture is a people's business. You have to interact with people. You have to increase your contact as much as possible. You have to volunteer for these kind of fest. You have to take initiative basically. Go ahead, participate in some architecture competition. Go ahead, meet up new people or just architects. There are a lot of opportunities here, but you have to be very vigilant. Don't be stuck into your part-time jobs or your just normal regular jobs. If you want to grow, you have to grow as a person as well, not only as a architect or a BIM coordinator or a architecture technician. You should know what's going on out in the field. You will learn a lot. You will get inspired a lot and you will make new connection and there is nothing wrong in making new connection guys so i hope you liked it i hope you liked this video and if you did go ahead hit a like and please subscribe to my channel i do need your support and uh, as usual take care of yourself and i'll see you soon Bye bye